Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day eight, I hope, of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. As long as it, you know, I clicked on it, it's going to load. I hope so. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to click on it again. All right, there we go. Well, I mean, it's still loading, but hopefully it makes some progress. But yeah. Uh, today I just slept a lot. I missed the actually I missed the bi-weekly because I I woke up, I I clicked on register, I I think that it started and I tried to click on stuff and then I just passed out and then I and then I found myself I woke up like a few hours later in the bed and I'm like yeah okay well it's just one of those days you know <laughs> so I did do the virtual afterwards so you can check that out if you haven't already um no no I did okay though the reading is just so hard on that one I don't know what to say. But, uh, but yeah, uh, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 2054, two best non-overlapping events. Okay, what does that mean? Two best non-overlapping. Okay. So here we want to do the maximum sum. What is the sum? The sum is... Oh, the value. Okay. So they, they have value. You have two. Okay. I mean, I think this is... <clears throat> the thing about the, this problem is that... Um, I've done it before, right? Like, I've done similar enough problems before, so it's a little bit tricky. The idea is just... Um, there are a couple of ideas that you can think about for this one. Um, you can think about it as maybe greedy, maybe dynamic programming, depending on how you want to think about it. Um, but as long as you kind of um, have a consistent idea about uh, invariance, you should be okay. And let me... Actually, uh, bring break out the drawing board um, to kind of illustrate this. So the idea here is, oh, oh, hmm. the idea here is me setting this up correctly first. Okay, but yeah, the idea here is that okay. So you have like say you know a, a number line, right? So you have some segments, some along in there, and we just have value, right? And then the idea is having constructing a sweep line in a way such that when you get to the beginning of this, you go, okay, well, we're at the beginning of this, we only care about two, uh, let me double check, yeah, two non-overlapping ones, right? Meaning that everything to the left of it, um, as long as we complete it, so this one's completed, for example, this one is not because we're still progressing. So here we just have to take, well, what is the value of this line plus the, uh, the highest value in a greedy way and it's greedy because everything to the left where it's already completed we don't care what it is we just care about the maximum value and as a result we can do it that way you can think of it maybe it's greedy maybe dynamic programming maybe you know a lot of things but uh <laughs> uh yeah i mean you know i mean it just depends on how you want to structure it so first we're going to sort um I'm trying to think whether, so I think sorting by the starting point makes sense, right? Because you want, as we say, we're sweeping the left. But I think also doesn't matter the, the right end point because the right end points are not interesting as long as it doesn't overlap with the start end point, right? So I think that should be good, yeah. Um, and what I mean by that is that, yeah, when you're starting on a new one, or it should have already ended on some of them, right? So yeah, so then now, how do I want to write this? So for start and in defense, we want to say, um, okay, so we're currently at the start, right? So maybe we want to say something like, um, okay, I mean, we could do it with a heap, we can do it with other things as well, but I'll, I'm going to use a heap just because I think it's just the thing that is most intuitive for me right now. And what I mean by that is that, okay, for a event that happened, we want to say, okay, best previous, it's going to be equal to, say, negative infinity, because we haven't done, you know, in the beginning, we have nothing yet. And also best is equal to, say, also negative infinity, I guess. Does the, do we always have to have two? Like, I'm trying to figure out at most two. So I guess with at most two, you can always choose at least one. So, yeah, so maybe, uh, maybe best could be max of... Um, well, the defense value, right? We for we for to start and we in defense, right? So maybe something like that, right? Because j that's just for one one um, one thing. So that's your base case, maybe. Also, I forgot to do the we. 
And then what, what, what we have here with the heap is that it just allows us to kind of um, get through what's on top of the heap, right? And here, we, we will, at a starting point, we want to um, uh, process uh, our current sweep line is at S, right? So then now we, wanna, we want to process all the previous endings um, from before in quantum in like left to right order i suppose this is why we use a heap right then now heap q dot hip pop right so oh uh, right. well length of heap is greater than zero and the first item of heap uh we're gonna pop push in the time which is the ye and then just the value just for fun but the, so the value of the heap on top if that is um, the event is greater than or equal to S, then we can pop it, right? And what does popping it mean? Um, wait, do I have to thing up? No, okay. I sometimes want to paint when I uh, I just worry that I have to like the the my drawing stuff blocking the screen, so I had to double check because I was like, did I leave it up? I don't know. Anyway, um, so then here this gives us two things, right? The, um, the the time which we don't care about anymore is that the only thing that we care about is that is before and then the new value is this and then now we can say best previous is you go to max best previous new value right and then now after that's all done then now we know that everything we popped off we already have the best previous then best is equal to max of best best previous plus the current value to kind of connect two items and that's pretty much it I think uh, or I lied because um, because we pushed nothing in heap. So okay. So I mean, I don't. I think at this point it doesn't matter if it's before, or after. But but yeah. And then after this, we know that okay, process s. So then now we want to queue the current y to be used in the future. So we do something like a push heap. Um, and what do we say? We we want y as the current or of when that ends, and v is the value that we get out of it, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, yeah. All right, well, seems like I already made a mistake. Uh, hmm. Seems like I'm, hmm. Why would it give five? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. Maybe I, uh, I feel like recently I've just been so bad at this. this. But, uh, let's take a look. I don't know why. So okay, so yeah, um, it passes to one three. Okay, the heap contains n of three two, which makes sense because we haven't. Yeah, uh, da, 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 so we have to two four. Oh, I see. I see. I I think I. Okay, because I I just misunderstood this problem a little bit. It's why it's not a big deal. Uh, let me rethink a second. And what I mean by that is just that um, as you, it, it, it returns five because I thought that the numbers are on on the on the vertical line and not the box itself, if that makes sense. Um, and as a result, um, like for example, if you look at the example one, which is the one that we got wrong, um, three ends at four, but it occupies time slide four where the event one starts at four. So I mean, yeah. So um so yeah, I mean, I think that's the only thing that needs to change is add plus one to this. I think that's it on the heap. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just a, a, a confusing um, kind of thing, but not a big deal. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. What is the complexity, right? Um, I did a sorting here, so that's going to be n log n. I mean, you know, a pretty good thing. This is O of n. Um, there's this funky while loop, but keeping in mind that for each element in events, we're going to push this to heap once and pop it once. Each of these with at most n, um, n items in the heap. So it's going to be n log n in total. And I mean, that's going to be this anyway, right? So it's going to be n log n in total, in total time, total space, uh, all of n space. But yeah. Um, and that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the weekly part premium problem and also there's a contest later there's an advent of code a lot of things happening today i am tired so yeah uh thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye